Hi everyone, today we are looking at compound interest. So a compound interest is, is basically how uh, most bank accounts can kind of basically calculate interest. So it's worth you kind of knowing how it works. Um, so it's charged at the end of every year, all right? But essentially, it's what you get is once you've obviously got your money at the end of the year, your interest is that your following year, you earn interest on that interest. So it kind of builds, essentially, as you kind of go. So the amount grows each year, and so does the interest. Okay, so if Jim invests £200 with a fixed rate interest of 5% each year, how much will he have after 20 years? All right, so the 5% is a fixed rate. It, of course, we are talking compound interest. So after year one, he has 200 times 1.05. Now, if you're not quite sure why it times it at 1.05, this is the idea of the, of the multiplier, knowing that it goes up by 5%. All right, so if you want to look at the lesson in terms of a decimal multiplier, so percentage increase, this is a quick way of doing it. All right, so you could work out 5% and add it on, but this multiplier is absolutely critical when we're talking about compound interest. So times by 1.05, so 105% essentially, um, but in terms of decimal format, all right, which gives a £210. All right, after year two, you're going to repeat the process, but of course, he's now got £210 in his bank, so he's going to do 1.05 which is going to go with 220.50, all right? So you times it by 1.05 twice at this particular point. After year three, you're going to times the same amount, um, so my original, times by 1.05 three times now, which is 200 times 1.05 cubed, okay? After year four, you'll see what I'm doing here. I'm doing 200 times 1.05 to the power of four, and so on. And as you progress, what you're doing here is you're no longer doing this big calculation, you're now using indices to know that the fact that you've timed it by 1.05 20 times to give you your solution. So after 20 years, he's going to have £530.66 because I can just put that into my calculator. All right, so it's 200 times this decimal multiplier to the power 20, and the power is the number of years. So after year one, it was just one of them. After year two, I'd done it twice. And after year three, I've done it three times, and so you'll realise where the power kind of comes in. All right, so after 20 years, that's what I've got, all right, which is not bad. I've doubled his money and a bit more, okay? So that's compound interest. There is a formula that goes with it, and again, it's a little bit kind of awkward in terms of how it looks, um, but essentially, this is what it is. So I will explain. So A is your initial amount, and you're going to times it by, so think about what we did, is one plus the basically R, which is the interest rate as a decimal. So we had 0 0.05 a minute ago. So 1 plus 0 0.05. And then to the power, the number of years. All right, so what we did, we had 200 times 1.05 to the power 20 in the previous question. So that is the kind of formula. That's what it's all about. Right, so if I invest £500 at 10% interest rate, how many years would it be until I made over £1,000? All right, so we're going to have to trial and error this a little bit. So I'm going to put some numbers in. So let's try seven years. So we try seven years. So 500 times 1 plus 0 0.1, which is using this, or 1.1, 1 1.10 to the power of seven is 974. So not yet. After eight years, you've got 500 times 1.10 to the power of eight, which is 1,071. So how many years will it, until they have over a thousand pound? Well, eight years. Okay, so seven years, it doesn't have it. So it has to be eight years. And so it will take eight years until I have over a thousand pounds, okay? Right, so just one more part of this. So we looked at compound interest, so that's obviously the numbers going up. Well, what happens if the numbers go down? Well, this is called depreciation, right? And this is what happens to cars, essentially, in most cases. You buy a car and it depreciates in value, okay? It's like a lot of things. So depreciation means an object loses value each year, and it works out in similar to compound interest, but how? Right, so a £20,000 car depreciates 15% each year. How much would the car be worth after five years? Right, so what you times it by here, all right, we're still looking at the same idea of a compound interest, all right, and it's still to the power five, but it's the multiple, it's the multiple is what we're really after, all right, and I've mentioned it again, and I mentioned it before, so I'll mention it again. It's a decimal multiplier, which comes up in another lesson about a quick way of increasing or decreasing a value of a car, all right? So I'm going to times it by... Um, 85%. When I was a decimal, that's 0 0.85. All right. So it's 0 0.85 is going to be my multiplier 
to the power five because what's happening is when I times it by 85%, that means my value is going to go down. When I times it by a fraction, which is less than one, it means my value is going to go down. And obviously every year it's going to go down 15% year on year on year. And so we're going to keep doing that. So it's going to give me 8,874 after five years or under half price. Okay, so that is compound interest. And of course, depreciation is part of that. All right. So please go to um, mass-school.co.uk. Link is at the bottom of the page to do some practice on it. And of course, if you need to revisit the lesson, then obviously you can do. Cheers.